Hi everyone. In this session, I'm going to give you the demo of this application, iBeam Modify Model Object. This application is an upgraded version of Select Model Object. With this application, you can select and modify parts, bolts, and welds when the drawing is open. This application works in all types of drawings. To select the object in the model, select the part in the drawing first and click select object. And now you can see the part is selected in the model. If you want to select all the similar plates, check this box and click select object once again. So there are six plates and you can see the quantity. To load the data of the selected object, click load object data. Since this option is on, it will give you the list of all the similar plates. This part position and assembly position, these two fields are read only. Other than these two properties, you can change all the other properties in the table. When you click on the row, it will highlight only the part that belongs to this row. Let me just select the next one. So here you can see. And if you want to modify, you can check this box. For example, let me change this plate material from 300 to 250. and change the class to three. Once you click update, you can see the parts are updated in the model. So next time when you open the drawing, it will reduce the quantity and create the drawing for the modified parts. Let me just reopen the drawing. This is P54. Now it is asking me to perform numbering. Now you can see the quantity has been reduced from six to four. And this has cloned the drawing for the modified parts. Let me just double click and open this drawing. And you can see the quantity is two and the material is 250. To change the bolt data, select the bolt and click load object data. Let me select these two rows. The bolt diameter is 20 and the tolerance is 2. Let me change the size to 16. And check these two boxes. You can also change the slotted hole. For example, let me make it S yes and slotted hole in X direction. Let me make it four. And then click update. Let me reopen this drawing. perform numbering and you can see the slotted hole here let me change the properties and modify let me close the drawing now I'm going to open the assembly drawing let me take this B1. Select the part. And click load assembly data. 
It will shave the main part as well as the parts which are welded to the main part. And we have two quantities. So to get all the similar assemblies, select this get similar and click load assembly data. If you want to select it in the model, click select assembly. And the part position and assembly position, these are read only. Other than that, you can change the properties of the parts. You just have to click on the cell and edit the data. For example, this class is four. Let me change this one to 99. To select all the rows, click on the first row and press the shift key and click on the last row and then check this box and then update. You can see the class has been updated. To modify the weld, this weld size seems to be updated. So let me just close the drawing. Now I'm going to display the weld. Go to quick launch and type display detailing, then select the option, pick the member. So the display detailing will display all the associated objects of the part. Let me just open the assembly drawing. Select the weld size and click select object. So this is the weld. Load the object data. And then change the size. You can also change the type of weld and whether it is a site or workshop. And you can see the different types of weld in the drop down list and other attributes. Check this box and click update. So next time when I open the drawing, you can see the change in the weld size. Let me open the drawing, which is B1. Now you can see the weld size has been updated. Next, we will see how this application works for the cast unit drawing. Select the panel and then click load assembly data. So now you can see it displays the panel and all the other objects added a sub assembly to this panel. I can see these three ferrules are M16. So if I want to change this one, type the size, which is M20. and make sure these boxes are on and then click update. It has been updated. So I'm going to reopen this drawing. So this is the template. Now you can see the ferrules have been updated. As I said, you can also use this application for all types of drawing. Let me just open general arrangement drawing. So 
So let me select all the goods. And then clear the data. Click load object data. If you want to select, you can click select object so that it can select in the model and you can change the properties except the part position and assembly position. Let me close the drawing. I would like to give you another information. When you read the bolt data, I'm selecting the bolt and then click load object data. When you read the object data, you can see it shows the main part position, secondary position and assembly position. These three attributes are taken into consideration to display the bolt data so that you know exactly which one you are changing. We have seen how to select and modify the parts, bolts and wheels. Let me also walk you through the advantages of using this application. The first advantage is improved accuracy and consistency. The detailers can make precise updates directly from the drawing. Next one is enhanced productivity. By doing direct modification from the drawing, you can streamline the workflow, saving detailers time and increasing their efficiency. It simplifies error detection and correction because detailers can quickly spot and fix errors by selecting and editing model objects directly from the drawing. Better visualization and understanding. As we all know, drawings offer clear views of elements, helping detailers better understand and visualize the effects of their changes. The last one is reduced rework and improved quality control. Direct changes from the drawing reduce errors and miscommunication, minimizing rework and maintaining high quality throughout the project. Overall, these benefits contribute to a more efficient, accurate and collaborative workflow, ultimately leading to better project outcomes and enhanced user satisfaction in using Tecla Structures software. If you have any question about this application, feel free to get in touch with me. And thank you for watching this video.